Good morning! Today we're going to Harajuku so I can do my clothes shopping for the whole year and we're just having our breakfast from the convenience store. Probably should have filmed it before I opened it but I've got this fruit sandwich. It's got fruit, some kiwi fruit, some peach in there and the cream's sweet and the bread's really soft and fluffy and the crusts are already cut off for you. I found phantom melon. It's got that really artificial taste that you want from Japanese melon flavour. Phil had a plain rice ball. <laughs> <laughs> and Chop and Rachel gone for the katsu sandwich. <laughs> Very healthy breakfast. <laughs> How is it? It's delicious. It's good, it's a bit plain, but it's quite nice. I, I miss the, um, the heat the, of uh, having a proper katsu and all the juices, but it's nice. We're walking through Meiji Jingi Shrine to get to Harajuku. It is walkable from Shinjuku. It's a fairly long-ish walk. It's about 40 minutes from Kabukicho, or if you're staying near the station, it's more like 20 minutes. We're just sitting down in Yoyogi Park before we hit the shops. <laughs> Tamagotchi shop. Look how cute they are. And they have special Tamagotchi donuts that they only have in the Harajuku shop. <laughs> Tamagotchi nashi. Looking at a jacket. Swag dude duck vibes. Quackers. <laughs> Here's the Etude House shop. It looks really cute. I don't think this was here when I came last time. This is a Halloween display. Pink skull. Here's what Rachel got from Etude House. So I got a panda hand cream, which is really cute. And it smells of peaches. Aww, so That's cute. really cute. <laughs> and I got some sparkly nut varnish, <laughs> which is pretty cool as well. Oh, you can buy it. I thought yeah. it was just for the display. Nope. That is oh, it is. 97,000 yen. <laughs> Let's get it. We can't fit it in our suitcase. That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Neko Atsume. It's possibly my favorite shop, ACDC Rag. Special closet charge shop just for Vivian Westwood stuff. Look, it's a shining store. <laughs> I don't know what they sell. <laughs> I think it's really good they've got clothes for men along to catch the street as well because I always feel bad for guys because men's clothes are so boring usually. I read a really interesting article on tokyofashion.com about how Harajuku is changing and how all the tourist guidebooks say you should come to Harajuku on Sunday and see all the crazy fashion. So it's being swamped by tourists. 
and a lot of the tourists aren't into wearing the fashion themselves so they just have a look round, take lots of pictures and don't really buy much and I did find a couple of times that when I've gone into a shop to buy something the shop assistants seem kind of surprised that I'm not just looking round that I actually want to buy clothes but so because all the tourists are coming and not spending their money it means it gets really crowded in Harajuku and the people who are part of the uh, Japanese fashion subcultures aren't so keen to come here because they don't want to go to a place that's full of tourists who just want to take pictures of them so instead they, they go somewhere else or they stay at home and post their pictures on Instagram which is kind of sad but I guess it's similar to the things you see in um, like in London where um, Carnaby Street used to be really popular and then Camden and now that's going more commercial and it's moved somewhere else maybe to East London so the message that I've taken from this is when you come to Harajuku buy as much as possible and support the shops And the colours are really nice in this one with the mushroom. Practices. Nyai pai. Oh, so cute. I really like their wallpaper and this bike covered in their stickers that was a really cool shop and how rare is it you find a whole shop just with stickers in it and I really like the art style of the stickers. What's really great about it is that people are buying them because they like the designs and the character designs, not just because it's the sticker. So we got some for all our friends. Niall Perch, they're who designed um, my duck skirt that I got in Closet Child last year for Very Cute and Pastel. all character goods and lots of cute things. I've been to the one in a diver before but the one in Harajuku is the biggest fright. And if you're wondering what that noise is, it's a load of birds up there. <laughs> They're so loud. There's a crab by the lift. <laughs> We're 
in the basement floor of La Forette or La Forêt shopping centre and this is where you can find some really big name brands that you'll recognise and some big Lolita brands as well. It's really strange walking around and seeing this style of clothing in what is otherwise a normal department store. And we're just going to have a last walk up to Kester Street and pick up the things we saw earlier. And then we're going to meet our friends at Genki Sushi. This is the main street, the Kester Street, and there's so many people here still. It's about six o'clock on a Friday night, and it's been as busy as this all day. At the weekends, it's even more rammed, so try and avoid them if you can and come on a weekday. Round to find this was behind us. <laughs> oh, they're ghost ones. 